some cheek to cheek, ay, ay. And I ain't get away for nothing, cause that just ain't my style. Life couldn't get better, this gon' be the best day ever. Hey yo, what's going down? I'm OD, and this is Slump Sessions, the show that is music. Again, here with Coyote Bongwater. What's happening? Sad, sad day. I'm hurt, nigga. Hurt as fuck. We lost a very, very, very talented Ta- young man today. Yeah. Young. Someone who changed yeah. our 20, lives. 26 years old. Just in some way. Young as fuck. 26 years old. Definitely shouldn't have died that young. R.P. Mac Miller. R.P. Mac Miller. That's who we're talking about. Um, kind of just going through, you know, his music, kind of what it meant to us a little bit. Sure. I kind of, I think I first heard Mac whenever, what was it? I think it's twenty, at least like 2010, 2011. I think it time. was like my sophomore year in high school, about 2010. Yeah. Yes. I, I'm getting old as fuck. <laughs> um, had, yeah. I remember that sh- yeah, because I remember when he first came out and we jammed. It was him and Wiz that came out, both from Pittsburgh. Yeah. And they're like the two hottest MCs at the time. And I remember we just jammed the fuck out of them. Because like, at that time, lot, I was getting into a lot of Tyler. I was getting into yeah. a lot of Wiz and fucking. Um, I was getting into Mac, but yeah. also uh, Flatbush and, and shit. Like, so, yeah, it you know, it was kind of all at, all at the same time. And Mac really, you know, was different from the rest of them. As in, like, his content and everything. Show sure. His bars and all that shit. Like, I don't know. I remember I used to just watch so many, you know, you know, you catch yourself watching those videos I, of, like, them doing, like, you know, off performances or, like, old freestyles and shit. Like, you know, that's when you're, like, a core fan and shit. Yeah. Like, his old high school freestyles and shit. Like, that shit was dope, bro. And, like, at the time, he was, he was only a couple years older than us. So, I felt like, you he know. He was a year older than us, bro. Yeah. Well, I mean, older than you. But I felt like he was kind of like somebody that I could know. I don't know. It was kind of weird. He was, he was kind of uh, the same age as us. So it, it, it felt really relatable to what he was talking about. Like whenever he came out with like uh, senior skip day and stuff and hell yeah, that fucking just all that shit, bro. Like it just, all that shit is just, it hits hard because we used to jam so like so much, like so much back in high school and, just for him to be like taken away in a year like we're losing a lot of artists and shit yeah this is already a year. five artists in the past year bro like that shit's crazy yeah it's fucking crazy all I mean, talented but good artists bro no rp to everybody for real rp to lil peep fredo jimmy wapo x and mac miller for real rp to all of them for real it's you know it's hard to see somebody that you listen to for so long actually get taken away especially for something so something that could have been avoided yeah it could have been prevented because you know so i mean i don't know exactly what happened I just yeah know. i don't know the you know the details of it but he it could have been avoided shit. he was just going through some shit and he just you know he went out a different path yeah. he od'd you know like it's just crazy bro. i know throughout his career he's kind of battled a lot with with drugs and stuff yeah. and it's kind of you know hardening to see that it actually was the thing that took him it's just crazy, man. I mean, shit. He every who ate all the caviar would never be the same to me. No, because because he ate all the caviar and he's not here to eat anymore. I mean, shit. Everything from whenever he dropped kids, you know, his first everything, bro. Like, I listen to Mac the Miller. best day ever. You know, Nike's on my feet. Fucking Kool Aid and frozen pizza. Blue Slide Park. Blue Slide Park. Oh my god. I think it was Blue Slide Park that he came to Houston, Houston, and man. that's whenever I went. Uh, you you trying to go to go see him. And it it, it kind of sucks, you know. I w- he was gonna be coming here in a few weeks. Yeah, I, I was very very. Was I was looking the first forward time to seeing him. Yeah, it I was. was looking forward to going, and it it kind of you know it's it hard. Sucks. It's just ripped away like that. Like just took it away. We're not gonna be able to go. Nope. nope. And it's just crazy, man. It's really because like I don't know. I I expect a lot of shit to be played whenever we go to concerts and shows. Yeah. Like, you know, there's always because you know for these past few shows we went to there's a lot of ex tributes and shit. Of yeah. course. But like this is Mac Miller, bro. Like there's gonna be like it's just it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Like I can't even get on social media without seeing shit about Mac Miller. Passing. Yeah, it's and everywhere, it's everywhere. And I know it's it's tough for his family. I know you know. 
Yeah, it's probably to go to them for yeah. Real. It's hard to to actually lose somebody. Yeah, especially somebody you know that's reached a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people a lot have of grown. On a lot of people's lives. In this he came into you know the game kind of young. Mm-hmm. He was I believe like nineteen or twenty or something, I and yeah, like eighteen, nineteen, yeah. twenty, somewhere around there. And then a lot of people who got into him at that, you know, at that time were able to grow up with him and yeah. see the progression through the same, his yeah. music. At the same time we got into him. Yeah. You see the progression through his music through each album was a little bit different. You could tell he was getting older. He was talking about more yeah. mature things, but it's something that he was dealing with for a long time was, was sure. drugs. And it's tough. It's a, it's a sad day. Very sad day. Very. It's just crazy, man. It's just, it just sucks. It hurts a lot because, like I said, man, it's just like a part of us is gone. Yeah. You know it's what I'm def- saying? Like, because we jammed him so much and he was just... Definitely like, like a part of just, of I what know. I like in music yeah, and stuff is, is, is gone now. And like, I was looking forward to future projects, you know, he had. Yes, he just... He, I know he had just dropped, he just dropped the album. He just dropped shit. Swimming, which yeah. was a really, really good it was album. Amazing. It was fucking amazing. And it's just like, so, damn, bro, it's gone. But um, like I said, R.I.P. to Mac Miller, man. Yeah, definitely. R.I.P. to Mac Miller. R.I.P. to Mac. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Slum Sessions. Follow Kyrie at Coyote Bongwater. Indeed. Just keep listening to the music. And keep them alive. Same thing everybody's been doing with X and Peep and Jimmy Wapo and everybody. Keep him alive through his music. For real, y'all. Always remember it. There's help out there too. If you're going through some shit, yeah, don't be afraid you, to ask for help. Shit, there's always help. You know, w- help. whether it's suicide, whether it's fucking drugs, anything. There's always somebody there's that's always willing there, yeah. to help. Always, just don't be afraid to ask. Yeah, definitely. That it's definitely something that needs to be discussed. For sure. Thanks for watching. Stay slump. No matter where life takes me, find me with a smile. Pursuit to be happy, on me laughing like a child. I never thought life would be this sweet. It got me cheesing from cheek to cheek, ay, ay. And I ain't get away for nothing, cause that just ain't my style.